hello everyone welcome back to my channel once again thank you for joining me on this beautiful monday okay so i'm going to talk about sustainability and this is something that or this is a word that you've probably heard before or seen on instagram or social media or youtube and something that's just going around so i pulled up on dictionary.com sustainability is Avoidance of the depletion of natural resources in order to maintain eco an ecological balance. Or another one is the ability to be maintained at a certain rate or level. Example would be the sustainability of economic growth. Sustainable living describes a lifestyle that attempts to reduce an individual's or society society's use of Earth's natural resources. This Earth's been around for so long, right? And thank God he has blessed us with opportunity to gain from the Earth and what the Earth produces. But he has also, as human beings, he has also given us the responsibility to take care of the earth. You have global warming, ice caps are melting, some some ocean floors have dried out where it's just desert. Like we are not, we need to take care of this earth because we don't know when God is coming back. If you believe in God, if you don't, okay, you don't know when God is coming back, but we don't know how long we're going to be on this earth. So we have to take care of what we've been given. If we don't take care of what we've been given, years from now, we are going to be in a struggle so I'm gonna read this verse to you right whether if you believe it or not if you believe in the Bible or not this is what's in the Bible and this is very true whether if you believe in Jesus you believe in God whatever the case may be this is just something that all humans should be practicing this is Genesis 126 then God said let us make man in our in our image after our likeliness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. When God made us in his image, he said, all right, you guys have the responsibility to take care of everything else that's on the earth that he also created, okay? So you're basically like the masters of all the animals, all the livestock, whatever case is, you're supposed to take care of them, including the earth too. So we are not doing that part in taking care of our animals and taking care of our earth, of the earth that we've been given, the gift that we've been given, this planet that we've been given to live on. And I challenge every believer, if you call yourself a believer, or you call yourself a Christian, whatever, I challenge you to practice this because this is part of the responsibility you've been given as a believer, as a human, to do so let's let's try practicing that so i'm going to share with you some of the changes that i've been making in my life and um and this is a slow start you don't have to i don't want i don't want i'm not saying for you to just get rid of everything that's in your heart and start over no that's waste so when i go grocery shopping right instead of using ever again the plastic bag like we shop at whole foods or trade joe's and again or farmer's market instead of getting the plastic bag that they will give you I bring my own bags. Why? Because plastic take years to biodegrade. And it does not even biodegrade completely. So imagine, we talk, we're talking about one little plastic. Like, it took years. So imagine having millions of it and how long it's been on this earth. And I'm sure, I don't know if you, ever, if you haven't seen it, Google it. But there are so many pictures and videos of, like, plastic just laying on the um, ocean surface. And it's just, it has nowhere to go. So it wouldn't hurt you to take your own bag and to take it to a grocery store and just put your produce produce in. I have a pro produce bag, it's like mesh. Put your groceries in there, it doesn't hurt you. And plus, you get a discount. Places like Target, Whole Foods, I think Trader Joe's, when you bring your own bag, you get like 10 cents off. It's not much, but it's something, you know? It's almost like a token for doing that. So it's just like, why not? It will not hurt you, it really will not. And like, to get the bag is like 50 cent, a dollar, and you can reuse it and reuse it and reuse it and reuse it and reuse it. And some of them are made from recycled plastic anyway. So it's like, Let's help out, right? Like whenever I buy pasta for spaghetti or Alfredo, whatever the case is, I repurpose the jars. And I use that to hold my um, dishwashing um, sponge, my brushes to wash my dishes, I use that. And I repurpose my can candle jars. I use that to put my co cotton in, to wipe my face or to take off my makeup. I use that to hold my toothbrushes. I just use it for everything that a container can hold, right? When you buy juices and teas and coffees from the coffee shop, even though it's paper, the lining is plastic. That's how you keep your tea and your coffee from not seeping through the container you know, and being on the floor. So you're being wasteful because it's a one-time use. Once you're done with it, you toss it. It doesn't help anybody. So I try to make my own coffee or tea as much as I can. And I will do a coffee video. If you want to get fancy with the lattes, I'm going to show you what I know. And maybe you can practice that, you know, so you don't have to, when you're saving money, you don't have to, because coffee costs, what, $4? 
So five dollars sometimes you go to Starbucks, forget about it. It's like five, four dollars a cup, and you're doing this every morning. You calculate that at the end of the month, you're spending a lot of money. But you could take your own, you know, to from home, and it just save your money. You're helping the earth. You're not being wasteful. It it just it's a good practice, right? Another thing that I've been doing is. I bought, I have a metal um, straw that I use. I got it from Amazon, not bad at all. Straws are so wasteful. All these things that take years to biodegrade, they dump it in the sea. Our garbage in their home, and we are polluting their home. And then we turn around, mind you, they're getting affected and infected by our garbage. And then we turn around and eat these fish and um, seafood. Like, it's just, we turn around and consume our own garbage. If you're really thinking about think about it, the straws. I got the metal straws. Amazon, not not expensive, five six dollars, and you just take it with you. So whenever you go to a Starbucks or you go to a restaurant, they give you um uh, plastic straws. Because I personally like to put my mouth on restaurant jars and cups. I just I just think that I don't know. It's all mental. I think everybody's mouth been on it and it's germy. I don't know. So I take I would. Take, I don't take straws or I'll take my own straws to it and say, okay, no, I got my own metal straw. I'll be all right. I don't need your straw and I'm not going to put my mouth on this. So you could try that too. Uh, another change that I made was um, I've been using metal razors. I don't use the regular Chic Hydro and the other one, Venus um, razors, right? One is all plastic. You use it for a couple of weeks, you toss it out. You buy it again. I've been using that razor for about three years now, and I have yet to repurchase new blades because when you buy it, the whole set, it comes with about five extra blades in there. All I do is replace the blade. So one, think about it. You're saving money. You're helping the earth. It's sanitary. Why is it sanitary? Because when you get the Shake Hydros and the Venus or whatever cases, it has that gel on the blade that helps condition or whatever when you're shaving. But think about it. It's moisture right so you sit in it in your bathroom for weeks and you're just collecting bacteria so god forbid you cut yourself you have these bacteria just sitting there so it's kind of gross if you really think about it so and it costs about 15 13 14 dollars so why not go with that 12 dollar metal razor five dollars blades replaced and it lasts you for years and the other change i also made was um bar soap so i like i really 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 like liquid soaps it's easy pour go whatever but a lot of it comes in plastic bottles and i remember um my husband's grandmother gave us like these nice bar soaps for christmas it was really it's like this peppermint it was really good and i was like oh yeah i forgot how much i love bar, bar soap so i know sometimes i will still get the liquid soap because I really like the Dr. Brown's liquor soap. But until I'm really fiending for it, I'm going to go with the bar soap. And I've been using the La Maison French bar soap. It's really, really good. I Because I, I, I used the liquor soap before, but now I'm going to try the bar soap. And I'm just like, let's let's try out this bar soap, you know, and see how that go. And it comes in a plastic wrap, but... That little bit amount of plastic is way less compared to a big bottle, or like a gallon or a liter bottle of um, body wash. So bar soap is another change that I made. I use the Davis um, toothpaste, which is metal. So all of my toothpaste are metal. It comes in metal containers. And when you buy um, the Davis um, toothpaste, it comes with this thing. And I have about four of these things. And listen, I need to give some away to my friends because I have so many. Every time you buy a Davis toothpaste, it comes with it. And I love it because I get everything out of my tubes. And it works so well because it is metal. So you can really squeeze all the product out. And that's what you call it. You get your money's worth, okay? Like, this is how it look. For, don't pay attention to how messed up this one is. My husband just be squeezing right from the metal, but whatever. See, like, you get everything out everything out and it's so good i think it's such a great whoever invented this back in the day such a great invention and i love that the david's toothpaste comes with it with every single um with every single box you're going to have one of these in there and it's great so far those are the changes that i've been making i tried to use less 
um, plastic as much as I can. Whatever I learn, I'll inform you guys. And But I really, really encourage you guys to start. Incorporate this lifestyle in your lifestyle, if that makes sense. So it's like, I challenge you. You know, I challenge you to be a better human. I challenge you to be a better caretaker of this earth. I challenge you to be conscious of the things that you're doing, the things that you're purchasing, the waste that you're, you're producing, you know. And I'm not going to, it takes a, we have like recycle bin, but compared to years ago, how much, how quick our recycle would fill up at home when I was living with my parents. Now it's so much better, even though it's still a lot, I think, because you got almond milk and all that stuff. But we could go about, I would say like three weeks and then our recycle bin is filled. So um, I challenge you guys um, and um, let me know if you are practicing this already, please let me know what changes you have made, any ideas, how you, like whatever, because I love talking about this. So it's like, whatever you learn, whatever you do that I can incorporate into my lifestyle, please put it in the comments below. Um, and if you've never tried this before, tell me where you're going. Let me know like what the first change you're going to make. Um, I would love to continue this conversation in the comments below. And um, I thank you so much for watching. I thank you for joining me once again. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell. And I thank you for spending some time with me, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye.